Volunteers are putting the finishing touches on the ducks that will float the Ohio River in the rubber duck regatta. It is no small task. People have been plucking through more than 100,000 ducks for weeks, making sure they are properly marked. Which means they take out the numbered sticker from the previous regatta and they got a tag and add a, a sticker, numbered sticker for this regatta. The Ducks drop this Sunday, a Labor Day weekend tradition. There you see it. It's unmistakable. But the event is so much more than the spectacle of it all. All proceeds benefit the Free Store Food Bank. Joining me now is Kurt Ryber, the CEO and president of the Free Store Food Bank. And Matt Resateritz is also here. He is a food bank employee who used to be food insecure, and we want to thank you both for joining us. Great to be with you. And Matt, I'd like to put the first question to you. Okay. Uh, what was it like when you were food insecure, when you didn't know where the next meal was coming from necessarily, but you knew that the community cared enough to do something like this? Uh, well, it actually started out uh, back in 2014. Mm -hmm. um, I had been unable to find a job for almost three years. Um, it, the only way that I really managed to keep going was with help from family and friends. Um, I went just on a lark down to the free store to see if there was anything I could do and um, they told me about the cooks program mm -hmm. and I signed up for that and I went through their two week, their 10 week course. and. Uh, Almost a couple days after graduation, I ended up getting a job at a restaurant down uh, right on Fountain Square. Mm. So, I mean, they really made a big Im difference in my life. So it's about more than a meal. Yes. Yeah, so much more than a meal. To, uh, when we talk about the tri-state, how many people find themselves in a food insecure position? Well, we just got through the summer months. Yeah. Kids are back in school. Eight out of 10 kids in our community are dealing with food insecurity because they don't, they're, they're on the f free lunch program. Mm -hmm. One out of five kids in the 20 county service area, the free store food bank, don't know where their next meal is coming from. That's about 85,000 kids. So mm -hmm. imagine filling up Great American Ballpark twice. That's how many kids are helped by this little rubber duck. That little prop. That's so much more than a prop. Right? It really is. It, it's, mm -hmm. it, we talk about you know, food, connection, and hope. And as Matt shared, um, we are util utilizing a little yellow duck to raise awareness. Now people get it during the, the holiday season. They understand the food, holidays, it goes together. But hunger's with us 24-7, 365. It certainly is. We have about 30 seconds left. When we talk about the money raised from the regatta, where does it go and, and how can you be part of Well, it, it all stays right here in this community. Okay. 94% out of all the resources that the Free Store Food Bank brings in goes directly to client services. Mm -hmm. Folks can get ducks at, at rubberduckregatta.org. They can call 513-929-DUCK. They can go to any uh, Kemba Credit Union or any Kroger store and tear off a coupon and buy a duck that way. Uh, the easiest way right now is to go online at rubberduckregatta.org because it's $5, but it provides 15 meals. $5, or, 15 meals. Yes. yes. That's amazing. All right. Gentlemen, thanks for sharing. Great to be with you. Thank you. And uh, it's all this weekend. Thanks for having Buy a duck, us. feed a child. All right. And we have more information right now. Again, the duck drop happens Sunday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon at the Purple People Bridge. You still have time to buy some ducks. You just heard this, but it is worth repeating. You can purchase them online at rubberduckregatta.org or by phone. Also, the Ducks will be at Kemba Credit Unions until Friday and Kroger stores until Sunday at midnight.